Hello, welcome back. Today we want to talk about stuff. Are we going to talk about stuff? What is stuff? No, no, no. We are going to talk about object-oriented programming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me write it down. Okay. The word object. Why call object? <laughs> Why not stop? Object oriented <laughs> programming. Well, this is quite fancy word, right? Okay. Uh, people call OOP object oriented programming for short. So what is object? Object uh, is thing, stuff, that kind of. <laughs> so object is kind of general term. You refer to something, right? So what is exactly object oriented programming? Uh, what is this object for? What is this stuff for? The cup. Cup is a container, so that I can, I can. <laughs> Put the beverage. Now I am drinking a nice cup of coffee, right? So what is this object for? It's a pen. It's a digital pen. So that uh, when I okay, when I doing this, I can draw something. Am I going to? Use this pen to do something weird. Yeah, do this. No, it is not designed for this, right? So I can push. I can push the pen, right? I can kind of press the pen. The pinpoint. The pin. Uh, the pen. They can. They can send something. What? Is, what about this? What is this subject for? The mouse. For kind of score, right? Kind of, I can, I can turn the wheel. I can, I can click on, I can click on. Okay, I can right click, I can left click, I can kind of uh, move my uh, cursor position, right? Uh, do people normally do this object for this? <laughs> yeah, it could be, but nobody, nobody would do that, right? Okay, I'm now using a microphone. What is object for? Is it an object? No. Yeah, it's an object, right? But there's a lot of component, fancy object. What is this? It looks like a sponge. What is, what is this for? Kind of sponge form. Uh, kind of protect me to say the explosive sound, like a programming. <laughs> Object oriented programming, okay? Maybe you hear P, B, B sound. If I put this object on it, it sounds better, right? So every, in the world, everything could be object. They have its function. If it's a kind of material, the design, um, the data, okay? So, uh, it is a fancy term to describe the object or stuff. Okay, uh, their <coughs> their behavior. Okay, so in object-oriented programming, uh, in high-level language, they all already uh, include this concept in their programming. Okay, now I would like to. <laughs> I have enough example. I want to. Introduce two, two concepts, or two terminology for uh, when we study the object brain. Because uh, we've been, oh, I want to change another color. You know, we we know that when we write program, we will use a variable uh, with a different data type to store our data, and then we will use a. Uh, function 
Uh, we solve the problem. We will design some special function. They can deal with some data and make the job done, right? Yes, that's the basic fundamental things. But when we design the object-oriented programming, yeah, their data, their data, uh, the data they 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 preserve. Uh, we have a fancy name. Uh, we call it attribute. Okay, and then when we talk about this uh, uh, object. Uh, what kind of this data can do? Or how can you deal with it? Uh, we use a even fancy name called method. Okay, so this is what two terminology I would like to introduce to you when you uh, encounter object programming. Okay, so this object uh, they has a microphone head allow me to record record things okay so the recording is its method okay it's a method if i call a record okay the sound energy will go into this okay uh what about this okay you see this okay this object could be an object have a a lot of a lot of uh, dial I can turn to uh, the button, fancy button. I can press on, right? And obviously, the key, white key, and the piece of black keys, right? Okay. So, a big object can have uh, some small object to define it. And this area, key area, can have uh, black keys and white key. Okay. So, you may see some relation from the Big object inside it have a small object inside it have an even small tiny object right? Okay, you can break down this hierarchy at different level. We call a uh, object oriented hierarchy. Okay, and in object oriented hierarchy, they kind of uh, can have a relationship to the parent object and the uh, child object. Now, maybe inherent. Uh, from the parent something, okay. This is another concept, okay. So, <coughs> uh, just focus the attribute, okay. For example, mm, this object have a Y key, and this Y key, its method could be pressed, could be pressed, and then they make the sound, and if it's a middle C. I'm going to it one that sounds like a door. So if you design the object oriented programming, uh, you want this object have a associate with the white attribute because it looks like white, right? And the door mm, will be vibrate at a certain frequencies. Okay, maybe I I cannot remember. You can wiki. Google it. Uh, what's the door uh, vibrate at which frequency? Okay, so that's it. Am I finished? The object oriented. Why people call it object oriented, not stop oriented? Stop oriented. Um, I think it sounds better, right? O P. Why not? Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, crazy explanation about object oriented. Okay, and why would we kind of learn this? Because uh, in JavaScript, in Python, in P five JS, maybe in Sony Pi environment in this course, you see this pattern a lot everywhere. Okay, so be prepared. Bye bye. Let me drink the object, uh, the amazing object inside this white object. Ah, fantastic! Bye bye.